Hickey, oh, big tackle. Oh, yeah, that's a shoulder. Simon Hickey wasn't exactly welcomed back with open arms by Otago. You can see the connection. When he returned for Auckland after five years overseas. Yeah, I know. Bit of a nasty one, but uh, at the moment I feel all right, and fingers crossed it stays that way. 26-year-old Hickey grew up loving Eden Park and wanting to wear the blue and white hoops. It's epic to be back. It's cool to, I guess, call it my home ground again. The way that you left last time must have been kind of heartbreaking. To be back to try to prove yourself again it must be a big thing. Yeah, it is. I did have a, a quick rise and a relatively quick fall in New Zealand. The King's College rugby and cricket prodigy and New Zealand under-20 rugby captain made his debut for Auckland as a teenager. And now Hickey... Three seasons later, he was leading them out as captain. At 20, he was thrust into the Blues 10 jersey as they continued their search for the heir to Carlos Spencer's throne and made his debut against the star-studded Crusaders. 10 metres away was Richie McCaw, and I just looked at him like in awe. What am I doing on the same field? He had the perfect coronation and what remains the Blues' last win over the Crusaders, setting up a try and kicking 15 points. Well, he's been impressive. And the Blues have the victory. That was, you know, one of the highlights of my rugby career. It was just so much fun and, yeah, dream start. Unfortunately, his biggest high came in his first game. Hickey discovered just how cutthroat pro rugby can be as he was dropped and reinstated over two seasons before being let go at the tender age of 21. Yes, I probably got put onto the scrap heap a little bit earlier than I would have hoped. Probably a little bit around, you know, just growing my skill set. He ran himself into a whole bunch of trouble there. And sort of looking back on that, I probably wasn't quite ready for, you know, a starting team position in Super Rugby. Like, a few more experienced people have sort of said, you know, you lived an entire career in a few years. Yeah, maybe if things um, progress a bit slower, I might have stayed in New Zealand longer, but I wouldn't change anything. I don't hold grudges. Yeah, I'll just move on and control what I can control. Deeply disappointed, he shunned a couple of local offers and headed to a three-year deal with French club Bordeaux, where he didn't just learn the more conservative playing style of European clubs, he had to learn a new language to lead his team around the park. It was a bit difficult. I mean, the moves weren't too bad because it's still just one word. You know, I remember we had calls like Red Bull. I'd get by on the rugby field well. Oh, OK. Uh, and a, I guess a bit of a mix between English and French. It was a little bit challenging off the field, but got by and, you know, across my time there, I certainly improved. I learned a lot about myself as a rugby player and myself as a person. And then you got to Scotland and it was a relief because you could <laughs> talk the language. <laughs> yeah, they're not always that easy to understand as well, but nah, it was, it was good. After nearly two years at Scottish club Edinburgh, Hickey came home for COVID lockdown one. And with his contract nearing an end, the Hurricane spotted a chance to sign him until the end of 2021. An experienced guy with a really good skill set, especially in his kicking game. Look, it made a lot of sense to get someone who can control our off-field stuff, can run a weak attack plan. The whole time I was away, I kind of wanted to come back to New Zealand and play at some stage. I think I'm 26 now, you know, a lot of fly halves have uh, hit their straps in, you know, mid to late 20s, so I'm hoping that's the case and I'm stoked to be in New Zealand for, I guess, the next few years to, you know, see where that leads me. It's also given Hickey the chance to get his 50th cap for his beloved Auckland. Yeah, so I left on 48 and I guess at the time not many people had gone away and come back. So whilst I was like 21, I didn't have in my mind that I would, I would come back. So to have that opportunity now to, to come back and you know, hopefully crack 50, it's, it's epic and hopefully there's many more to come.